Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I prepared a really challenging class for you to work on our core, on our shoulder strength, and we also added a handstand drill. So if you're ready, grab your mat. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and maybe leave a comment afterwards. Thank you so much, guys, and let's practice. All right, guys, so today we start in a kneeling position. Tuck your toes and sit on your heels. So working also on the plantar fascia. And then lift the arms up, really straighten the arms. Try to bring the biceps beside or even behind your ears. We really need to stretch in the latissimus dorsi for our flow afterwards. And start opening and closing your hands as fast as possible. Not only a little hello, so we really want to open and close to do some work, to feel some fire in your forearms and warming up the wrists to be safe. Really important part of every practice is to warm up the wrists. I can feel it, I hope you can feel it too. We do 10, 9, 8, 7, a little bit more, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and shake it out. The same to the side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, come on, and 1, shake it out. Coming to a tabletop position, your hands in shoulder distance, your legs are in hip distance, and now we do fingertip push ups. Don't worry, it's not doing fingertips, push ups on the fingertips, but it is. Coming on the fingertips and then pressing the palms down. So just still warming up. Try to keep the shoulders in line with your elbows and wrists. We have this one straight line. And we do five, four. Remember, just that I have mentioned this, you can rest any time. You can pause any time, but accept the challenge, okay? Last time. All right, and step back into your plank. First challenging pose for today, shoulders in line with the wrists. Bring the feet together, maybe only stand on your tippy toes and then feel the power, the fire in your core. If you want, bring the chin to your chest, straighten the arms and open your scapula a little bit more to feel the engagement even more in your core. Now you could tilt the pelvis a little bit forward if you think, hey, eh, what is this guy talking? <laughs> it's already exhausting enough. Then just stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly lower your knees down, sit on your heels, shake it out. Bring your arms to the sides and just some gentle twisting. You could also let your arms just hang loose, if you can say that. Hang loose. <laughs> Just some gentle movement in between. All right, back, hands on the mat into your plank and now bring the right knee to your right armpit. Holding here for five, four, three, two, one. And instead of stepping back, step the right foot between your left hand and your left foot. Turn the left foot to the longest side and lift the left arm up. This is kind of a side plank or fallen triangle variation. More challenging would be if you lift the right foot up. And of course you take the challenge, you can do it. Holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Both hands back on the mat, right knee to your right armpit. Five, four, three, two, one. Step back and do a vinyasa. If it's your first vinyasa of the day, maybe you want to stay in low cobra. Otherwise, you can come into an up dog, whatever feels good to you, and we all meet in downward facing dog. We're not staying here for long. Bring the feet together, bend the knees, chin to your chest, and then roll forward into your plank, holding with the left knee to the left triceps, or maybe to the left armpit, even higher. Point your toes, three, two, and one, now stepping the left foot between your right hand and right foot, turning the right foot along the side, right arm up, and again the option to lift the foot up, but actually it is not an option, lift it up for five, four, three, just have to hold my mic, <laughs> one, and knee back to armpit for five, four, three, 
two, one. Step back, lean forward, slowly lower onto your belly. Untuck your toes, open the arms to the left and to the right, 90 degrees bent. On the inhale, lift the chest. On the exhale, lower down. Let's repeat four more times. Inhale up, exhale down, use your breath. Last one, hold here, five, four, three, two, and one, release. Great, hands beside your chest, push yourself back and up into downward facing dog. If you want to bend one knee after the other, feel free to do so. It's just about lengthening the spine. We won't spend much time today in downward facing dog. We want to create heat, we want to create the challenge. Downward dog will only be our resting pose. <laughs> All right, take a deep inhale. On the exhale, start walking your hands back. Come into a forward fold. Feel free to keep your knees bent. Let your arms be heavy. You can grab the elbow and move from one side to another. Also release any tension in your face, in your forehead. Take a deep inhale. Fully exhale. Arms to the sides, knee bent, chin to your chest. On the inhale, slowly roll up. Automatically, whenever I roll up, I want to roll my shoulders. So let's roll the shoulders for three times to the back, three times to the front. And now we're working on the psoas muscle, one of the muscles here in the hips. Also important for lifting the legs up. So what we're gonna do is we want to reach the top of the mat, lift the right leg up, point the toes as high as possible, hold for a second, and then step the right foot in front of the left like you're balancing on a rope. Left leg up, point your toes, and step it in front of the right foot. Imagining that it's a rope makes it so much more challenging. So you see how the mind affects our reality and how we can create our own imagination. So you decide if you want to kick it a little bit to the side or to the front, depending also on the space <laughs> in your living room or wherever you're practicing. And then we meet on top of the mat in hip distance. Shift your weight a little bit forward and backward. And when you're ready, bend your knees, lift your arms up, chair pose. Make sure that your knees are parallel, lift your arms up, gaze in between your hands, stay here for five, four, three, two, one. On the exhale, straighten your legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, bring the hands on the mat. You can jump or step back. If you jump back, make sure to bend your elbows. Untuck your toes. Push yourself up, cobra, or down, upward facing dog. And we all meet in downward facing dog. Bring the feet together on the inner lift the right leg up. On the exhale, right knee to right armpit. Either you hold here, or maybe you want to come into Ekapada Kuninyasana, placing the right thigh on the right triceps. Maybe you just want to lift one foot or the other, maybe both, and then jump back, push yourself up, or just step back. Inhale, lift the right leg up again, bend the right knee. You stay here to open the hip. Or the option here is to flip your dog and to lift your hips up. Problems with the microphone. Again. Or you lift your hips up into wild thing. Remember, this is a back bend, not a side stretch. So lifting the hips up and then lift the right arm up to the ceiling and see how controlled you can step the right foot next to your left hand. Maybe without using the right hand, maybe with three steps in between, it's totally fine. And then we're now in this like easy twist, turning the left foot along the mat, right hand down, left arm forward, windmill up into warrior two, and from here come straight into your reversed warrior. All right, we repeat this motion, windmill down, left hand next to the right foot, right arm up, 
Bring the right arm down, left arm forward, and then come straight into your reversed warrior. Right knee bent, knee over the ankle. Left leg straight, outside of the left foot, pressing into the mat. If you want to deepen the asana, try to lift the right heel up. I swear it feels like my heel is minimum here, but it's only two centimeters above the mat. <laughs> I'm trying really hard. Maybe your heel is up higher, but it's just about trying the best, right? The best we can do. One more deep inhale, on the exhale, back to warrior two, and then cross your arms forward, like in this Dragon Ball set. <laughs> it's not anime movie I was watching when I was young. Moving to the side, turning the left foot to the side, coming into Skandasana. It's just some fancy movement with your hands. What I want you to do is to just come into this surface lunge, the knees facing in the same direction as your toes. Right foot active, back is straight, last deep breath, and then come back into warrior two. Lean a little bit forward and find your Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Maybe you want to place the right hand on the mat. Maybe you can do it without. Flex the left foot, open hip to the longer side. Whenever you're ready, you can lift the left arm up to the ceiling. Here would be a great opportunity to use a yoga block. Take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, bring your left arm to the side, right arm to the right side in this airplane. Point your toes. And now there are different options, both hands on the mat, lifting the left leg up in this standing split. Maybe you want to open the hip to get the leg up even higher. Or maybe you keep the hip closed, place both hands on the mat, and you try some scissor jumps, working on your arm balance, working on your handstand. So you could do one hop after the other, and whenever you bounce, you're bending the knee and you just jump up. Or maybe you're holding and playing around with your balance. Whatever you do, we all meet somehow in downward facing dog. Find your own way, take your time, and we all meet in downward facing dog. Bring the feet together and inhale, lift the right leg up. On the exhale, left knee to left armpit. Option one, option two is Ekabada Kuninyasana. So maybe just straightening one leg, maybe lifting both up. No matter if you point your toes or flex, and then try to jump back or step back, and again, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up, bend the knee, flip your dog, Wild thing. Great time to open the heart, to take a deep breath, to move the hip up higher, and then see how you can step the left foot next to the right. Maybe from this side, side plank, <laughs> or maybe with some steps in between. Turn the right foot in, left arm would be up, you can bring it down, right arm forward and in windmill, warrior two, and reverse. Windmill down, we're doing this movement one more time, so right hand next to the left foot, left arm up, and down, right foot in, right arm forward, and then left arm facing forward, reverse your warrior. Again, try to lift your heel. Minimum 10 centimeters like I'm doing. <laughs> or at least trying for three, two, one. Back to warrior two, right arm crosses the left. And whatever fancy movement you want to do, I might turn around, you can do to find your skandhasana. Surface lunge. Back is straight, maybe you need your hands for support. Really good way to work on your adductors. One last breath. Inhale, slowly come back up into your warrior two. Leaning forward, 
Grab a block if you want, grab no block if you don't want to. Lift the right leg up, right hand on the hip or maybe up to the ceiling. Hip should be facing to the longer side, right foot flexed. And if you have found your balance, it's great. If you're wobbly, it's no problem at all. Every day is different. If you do this transition, bend your standing leg a little bit, it's better for your knee, for your patella, and then come into this airplane. Both hands on the mat. Option one, standing split. Option two, handstand drill, scissor jump. You could also keep it with one side so the standing leg is bent and one leg is straight. And you just try to hop up. Or maybe you play a little bit with the sides. And whenever you're ready and whenever you find your balance on your hands, try to hold handstand. And then we meet in down dog to the chaturanga. And we all meet in the resting pose for today in downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths here to calm down your mind, your body, your th thoughts, and especially your breath. And then bend your knees, gaze in between your hands. And maybe you want to step forward, or maybe you can even manage to jump forward, crossing your legs, landing on your butt, and straightening the legs straight in Navasana. What would be a challenging class? Oh, I'm already sweating, running out of breath. What would be a challenging class without core work, right? So bring the hands behind your head, straighten the left leg, bend the right knee, and try to bring the left elbow to the right knee. Holding here, five, four, three, two, one. Change to the other side for five, four, three, two, one. And now adding some movement. I will tell you a story in between so the time runs faster. <coughs> Unfortunately, I'm not so spontaneous, <laughs> I don't have a story. I'm sorry. We'll just try to stay here for 10, 9, 8. I promise when we meet in real time or in real life on the mat, I have some funny stories from my yoga trips to Copenhagen or in Rimini, there was something really crazy. So I have some good stories for after yoga after yoga tea drinks. <laughs> All right, you see, you didn't think about the core exercise, so it became a little bit easier, just a little bit. We add three, two, and one. Whew. Whew. Great work, guys. I'm sweating. Ah. All right, what's next? <laughs> after core work, I love to stretch the abdominals. So let's find a laying down position. And you decide if you want to do it active, as this is an active class. So we just stay in upward facing dog for a few breaths. If you want to do it more relaxed, you can just come into Sphinx pose. But today, I want the challenge. We stay in upward dog. Roll your shoulders back, press the toes into the mat to engage your hamstrings. Holding here for five. Four, three, two, and one. Find your downward facing dog. And from your down dog, walk your hands back into a forward fold. So this should feel really good after the back bend. Doing this easy forward bend. If you want, you can bend your knees. You can grab the elbows. One more deep inhale, hold your breath. On the exhale, open the mouth, release. And then bend your knees, place both hands on the mat in shoulder distance, bend your elbows. And then to finish this crazy class, this crazy intense class, 
it wasn't that crazy actually, but come into crow pose. You can still make it crazy if from your crow pose you try crane. It's really intense for your wrists. If you're still in crow or crane, that's great guys. Hold here for three, two, and one. Slowly release, lean back and straighten your legs. Shake it out. Let's finish this class in a really gentle way to open the hips, so bring the feet together. And instead of pushing ourselves forward in Baddha Konasana, we will just lean forward, rounding the spine, palms facing up, chin to your chest. So you're not actively pushing yourself down, so it's passively the gravity is doing all the work for us. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Maybe bring the heels a little bit closer to you. Keep your mouth slightly open so your lips are not touching, your forehead is relaxed. We take three more breaths. One more deep inhale, hold your breath. Exhale, open the mouth, release. Slowly roll up. If you want to add another workout, another flow, or anything else, it's the time now to press pause and to do whatever you feel, what, what you feel up to. But no matter what you do, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, maybe even write a comment how you enjoyed the class. And maybe you could even recommend me to one of your friends that would help me to travel around and to reach more people. If you want to finish the class together with me, then find a laying down position in Shavasana. Or we stay in a simple cross-legged position with the back straight. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Hands on your knees, palms facing up or down. And just take the time to observe your breathing. Feel all the parts of your body you have strengthened, you have relaxed. How the asanas, the movement and the breath influence your mind, your emotions, your feelings. Take another deep inhale. Fully exhale. Take this strength, this power, and this playfulness with you for the rest of the day, the rest of the week. Bring the hands together in front of your heart. And before you continue your day, make yourself free compliments. Three things you like about yourself, others appreciate about you. Instead of always trying to become better, stronger, taller, faster, just slow down. You are exactly where you need to be. Gently open your eyes. Thank you so much, guys, for practicing. I hope you enjoyed this class as, as much as I did. If you like this kind of style, and if you would like to have a more intense or longer class for 60 minutes, then join me every Wednesday on my online yoga community via Zoom. So I'm teaching a live class. All the infos are in the description of the video. I would love to chat with you via Zoom and practice together to build strength, to gain flexibility on and off the mat. As always, guys, thank you so much and namaste.